Well, does anybody know what this is? Stick around and I'll tell you what it is and why I have to modify it. Well, temporarily, my daughter is confined to a wheelchair. What this board is, is it's called a transfer board. And it sits on the edge of the wheelchair, on the edge of a car seat or a chair or a porta potty. And it enables her to slide across from one thing to another. This board is 30 inches long. It's too, she feels it's too long. They make a smaller one, but they didn't have it in stock. So she asked me if I could cut about five or six inches off of it and then uh, cut a new handle. And also, as you can see, I hope, the edges are beveled. And so she would like me to, to cut it off, a new handle, and bevel it. So this is a simple project, I think. Stick around and we'll get it done real quick. Well, I'm gonna cut six inches off this board. And I looked at the, the board at the edges and it's all nice. This end, the plies are a little nicer than on the other end. So I'm gonna cut six inches off of this end. So I'm just gonna go and mark six inches and mark six inches. So I'm going to go over to the saw. I'm going to cut this off. Well, there's the piece I cut off. I didn't mention, I forgot to mention why I'm doing this. Uh, my daughter felt that with this long a board, between trying to stretch it between her wheelchair and a chair or whatever she was stretching it between it bridged too big of a gap and she wanted it so she could get her wheelchair a little closer to whatever chair she was getting in or on the porta potty or whatever she wanted less of a span between the wheelchair and whatever she was going to tr get transferred to so that's why i'm cutting it off I've got the piece cut off. I think I'm gonna cut the hand hole first and then round that over with a router. Then I'll get concerned about how I'm going to bevel that edge, whether I'm gonna try and do it with a plane or a sander or just what I'm gonna do. First of all, I am going to trace that opening and drill some holes with a Forstner bit and then depending on how that comes out, I may use a, a jigsaw or my scroll saw or even a router bit, a pattern bit, and just follow that around to make a nice handle. So I'll think about that and uh, when I get started, I'll be back. I've determined that this opening is an inch and three-eighths across. So I've got an inch and three eighths, an inch and three eighths Forstner bit. I'm gonna get it in the corner, as tight as I can into the corner, and then just give it a tap with my mallet. And that'll give me a spot to start it on the drill press. I'll do the same thing at the other end. So now I'm going to go over to the drill press. I'm going to drill these two holes and then I'm going to decide how I'm going to cut that out. Got my workpiece secured very well. I've got my mark directly under the point of the Forstner bit. I've got my Forstner bit set so that it not quite contacts the piece underneath it, but yet the point of the Forstner bit will come through. So let's see how this turns out. What I'll do is I'll drill the hole, turn it over, and then drill the other drill through from the other side so we have a clean hole. Well, I think I'm through. Not through, but I think the point is through. 
And there's the point right there. So I'll be able to clamp my workpiece back down. Bring my bit down so that it lines up with the hole. Clamp my, my piece down and drill the rest of the way through from this side. And there I have a very nice hole, clean on both sides. So I'm going to do the other one now, and uh, then I'll be back. I now have two very nice holes. And what, I, what I've decided to do is I'm going to take this over to my scroll saw, and I'm going to cut just inside these lines, maybe a sixteenth inside the lines. Then I have a half inch flush trim bit. I'm going to attach the old piece over the new hole with some double sided sticky tape and then I'll finish up the cut and that should give us a nice handhold. And then I'll go back over it with a round over bit to make it nice and comfortable like the old one was. So let me, let me get this center cut out of my scroll saw. I'll get the router set up and I'll show you how I'm going to do that. Well, I have the hand hole cut. <clears throat> I've sanded it. Now I have a, uh, I think it is a eighth inch round over in my router table. And I'm going to route the edges on both sides of this hand hole. Well, I got the bevel on the end of the board, and as you can see, I did it with my random orbital sander. I started out with 80 grit, then I uh, moved on to 100, and then 240, and I finished up with 320. Got a nice finish on it. I'm all set now to put some finish on this. Well, this project's done. I ended up putting some shellac on it and then sanding that down a little bit and then putting a light coat of lacquer on it. And that seems to match the finish on the rest of it pretty well. All I have to do now is deliver this to my daughter. I'd like to thank you for sticking around and watching my video. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. Be sure to like or comment. I answer all my comments. And until next time, I guess after this project, my shop's as dirty as ever, so I better clean it up before I start my next project. Thanks for watching.